Hey guys, this is Power Bricks, and I'm back with another LEGO Megazord review. And I know it's been a little while, but I've been building up a lot of Zords for the next wave. And the first one we're going to take a look at is the Rail Rush Megazord. So this is a train set, and we have five beautiful train Zords. Now, they don't do too much, but they are really nice. We have the red, blue, yellow, white, and black. So decided to take a um, more subtle colorway with just the primaries and two of the neutral colors. So... Let's take a look at each one of them, and then we'll get into the Zord. So here is the first one, which is the red steam engine. This is the pretty big one. It's the biggest one out of the entire set. We got some wheels on there. We got some train design. It's overall a really simple Zord, but it is nice. There is some movement for the um, train cab right there. You can see there's a little swivel, and we do have the horn up here. So it's pretty nice. Uh, got a nice circular um, sort of like look right here i guess it just looks a lot different you know what i'm saying we have red uh black gold and gray are the main sources of color for this sword uh for the most part it is pretty solid i like it it's huge it does its job and i think that it does look well for what it's supposed to be what do you guys think next up is the blue one and here it is we got this nice blue engine right here we got a cool horn you know, uh, just pretty simple stuff. You know, we got some wheels in the back to sort of push it. It doesn't have a bunch of rolling wheels. It just more so has like a design of wheels. <clears throat> and then, um, you know, these back wheels will push it forward and there's a Zord. But for the most part, it looks really nice. I do like it. Uh, there's a nice amount of weight to it. Nice size. They're not super big. Um, the interesting thing is that the Zords are pretty small, but the Megazord is about the same size as the Dinozord Megazord. So it's going to be really interesting to see how that Dinozord um, size compares to this guy when you get a look. I'll size compare the um, Carnotaurus. Okay, that's so next is Black, and Black is one of my favorites. Uh, we have this cool Black Steam engine looking um train right here and it does have a little cab on the other end so you can turn a little bit get more so that train look it has a lot of wheels to push it around and i think it's really solid for the most part this is a nice sword i do like it uh i wish that since i took this approach with tokyo i feel like this would have been a better bet for a megazord but um it's all on them i can't control what happens in uh sentai or bandai but i can do what happens here so i can control that so we're gonna always see okay now here's yellow and yellow looks pretty solid i do like this design also we got some um, nice wheels got some gold up there some yellow there's more so of the uh darker yellow which looks really nice always more of that classic zord yellow but uh for the most part it's the same thing as the black oh my bad but, uh, you can push that around if i wanted to i could unhook the cab and I could just have this front part of the train, but uh, you know, we want the whole thing, so that is yellow. And last but not least is white, and this is white sword. We got this nice uh train with like this dome in the front, and it's uh, pretty nice, it's simple. Got two wheels in the back that push it, and uh, it does its job, you know, it's just a train. They're actually very, very simple because what more else can a train do besides be a train and roll around? So, uh, that's just about it for the white one, but you see what it is, here it is, and that's primarily it for that. Okay, so the first one is gonna be the red. Now, this transformation is actually really interesting. As you know, red is the biggest, so you're gonna see it probably play a main body role, but um, for the most part, we're gonna get into it and we're gonna see how this works. So first, we're gonna go down here and we're gonna take a look at the bottom. We're gonna line up this hatch, not a hatch, but this um, peg right here in that groove. Then we're gonna turn this around and I'm going to sandwich this circular piece onto this piece right here. So we're gonna sandwich that together. Boom, quite simple. Once I sandwich it together, we'll get something along the lines of this. So next I'm going to zoom it out just a little bit so you guys can see. So now that I've done that, I can split this section here and then I'll turn this section around for now. And here is the upper body of the Megazord. It's already primarily done. So next is the Yellow Zord, and this is actually really interesting. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold this down, and then we're gonna fold this section all the way around like that. And this is an arm. So we're gonna actually do the same thing with black. So I'm gonna grab black, and we're gonna fold that down, fold this around, and we're going to bend it. And here are the arms to the Megazord. Now, blue and white have the same function. You're about to see how this works. It's super simple. So first, we're gonna get blue, plug it in, then we're gonna get white, plug this in. These are gonna be like big shoes, you know, feet. They're gonna give the uh, Megazord a little height and they're gonna give him more um, Zord definition. So there's that. Then we're gonna plug yellow. There's a socket right on the side right here. 
and there is a uh, ballpoint. Oh, my bad. First, actually, we uh, want to raise the camera just a little bit. Guys, sorry about that. We're going to raise the camera just a little bit, and we're going to flip this up. We're going to rotate these. Let me zoom in, actually. All right, one more time so you guys can see what's actually going on. I'm still getting used to this new camera, too, guys. So cut me a little slack here. Ah, right there. Okay, boom. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold these sections up boom and this was facing forward but we're going to turn this sideways and then i'm going to raise that up and this is the sword head so now that i have the sword head we can get to the rest of the sword body boom so then we're going to get black plug it in boop oh well that wasn't supposed to happen at all but it just did which is okay. But we're gonna get black, plug it in, boom. That has never happened. That's the first time that's ever happened. And then we're gonna plug yellow in and boom. We're gonna bring the head down and here is our Megazord, fully complete and merged. This is the Rail Rush Megazord, fully merged up and ready for action. There it is, we got nice, we got a nice sword here, guys. Uh, we're gonna zoom in just for a little bit. Get a nice look at the detail. Uh, for the most part, this is a fantastic Zord. I love the upper body of it, um, the trains, how they sit on the shoulders. Now we have a 360 arm rotation. There's also a little bit of movement in the elbow here. So you can uh, adjust that due to the train being a train. So that's pretty cool. There's really no ratchet joints on this guy. He's uh, primarily about 11 to 12 inches tall, maybe about 10 to 11 inches. He's not super, super tall, but um, for the most part, he is a Zord. Uh, there is a little articulation in the legs. You can see there's some articulation there. It doesn't kick forward though, unfortunately, but you can do like a side kick. And then there's also a little bit of the foot articulation there. Same here, there's some foot articulation with the blue half. Um, this is a really cool Zord. I really love this Zord. Um, he is awesome. This is awesome. Okay, um, it's not often that we actually do get uh, train Zords, so Getting this guy is already a milestone for me. Uh, he's he's great, man. This this right here, it's not the tallest sword, and it's not the most articulated. But I tell you, this guy looks awesome. This is an awesome sword. Like if you just want a dope mega sword, this is the one, guys. This is the one. Now let's size compare him. So I'm gonna size compare him to the blue allosaurus now this is a really big zord too and um he's his own size you know what i'm saying a little dino thunder vibe but they're actually not too far off in size but if i stand him up because you know uh, he can combine you see that they're a lot closer in height now which is really interesting to see from the uh zord perspective you know i think that's a really cool thing uh the main cool thing about all of this is that it's lego but um definitely this was a great zord i think that you guys um are pretty much gonna like it when you see it or when you make it up to this point i just wanted to say thank you so much for your support like comment subscribe there's definitely gonna be more now i'm thinking about doing um actually let me ask you guys i want to ask you guys and i'm going to show you so this is for my fans, my diehards, all right? So the upcoming line after this would uh, be dinosaurs, right? But I was thinking maybe I should do an entire wave of these dinosaurs and just build the most awesome dinosaurs I could think of. Because I haven't done dinosaurs in a long time. And I told myself if I did do it, I would have to go out with a huge bang. So I'm going to show you guys some of the zords that we're going to be seeing in the upcoming wave. Um... Let me know in the comments if you want to see more dino zords. I can do all kinds of colors, all kinds of different dinos, different combos. So pretty much uh, what we're going to be seeing in the new wave is this guy right here. But we're also going to be seeing these dino zords. Now we have a totally different team. So the Red Ranger actually starts off as a villain. So he's going to be more off to the side. But it really focuses on these five right here. And then the Red Zord also um, joins up. But the way I'm going to do it is uh, black and white will be a part of the Red Zord since they uh fit the theme for him more and it's actually made for that guy anyway but for blue we're gonna have yellow and pink 
those are going to be um these three right here are going to be the main team of zords so the red i mean the blue carnotaurus we're going to have the yellow bumpakusaurus and the pink and kylosaurus look at that long tail so it's going to be something really nice um then we're going to have the red parasaurolophus then the uh, white pterodactyl and the black triceratops. So I can add more. There's going to be a blizzard mode, I was thinking, a blizzard zord, excuse me, or an aqua type zord with maybe a mesosaurus. You guys let me know if you want to see dinosaurs or do you want to see multiple types of zords. So let me know in the comments below and I'll work on that. So dinosaurs or multiple zords, dinosaurs or multiple types of zords. But anyway, that's pretty much it for this guy. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. This was a great build that I can't wait to show you guys what I have in store next. And this is Power Rick signing off. Peace. Yeah.